Welcome to Sid's Simple DIY. Today I'm over here helping a widow lady at her house. She's trying to get it fixed up. Her husband passed away a few years ago and then needs to get some pressure washing done. I'm going to go be testing out this Ryobi pressure washer I got. It's a 1600 PSI, 1 1.2 gallon per minute pressure washer. It's electric. Plugs into a regular GFI outlet like we've done in the past. So we'll go ahead and set it up. You get your garden hose, turn it on. Hook up the hose in the front. Get the power and turn on the garden hose and start pressure washing. Go ahead and get you a better angle. This is what we're working with. We got a bunch of mold and moss, some mud on the ground. We had like a French drain here at one time, and it's kind of clogged up. See about digging that out a little bit. I'm trying to get these rocks out of here. These are covered with mud, so they're not doing anything beneficial for the French drain. One of my other videos, somebody asked me why I use Ryobi so much. I use Ryobi because it's home home DIY grade. I don't have the money to go buy those expensive brands. 18 volt blower, cordless, blow some. Right there, the so you can select the different degrees just turning it even soap and you don't have to replace the nozzle to replace the nozzle you would just pull this down flip that off we'll set it to the uh, 40 degree we'll start washing Doing a pretty good job I mean you can see taking out the green mold Hasn't been pressure washed in like 30 years. <laughs> With this pressure washer being only 1600 PSI, we can also do like the wood and the brick and the windows and we ain't gonna worry about nothing getting damaged. So we just go up there and we can Go ahead and just move over to our bricks. What you may want to do is you need some more pressure. Well, not more pressure, but better. So we'll go ahead and change the tip to a stronger setting. Zero is going to be your strongest. Okay, you be careful though. You could be tearing paint off of that. Try with 15. What we can do down here on the ground. Now they do make pressure washers, obviously. A lot stronger than this is on 1600 psi benefit this is it's easy to use around the house it's electric you plug it in no gas to mess with no fuel to mix just get it on going very simple it takes a few minutes just plug it up and go ahead and try some more
He's not coming off at the 40. We'll go ahead and switch it over. Let's try a zero. The zero will tear it off. So. Might even bust up the concrete. So you want to get further back, you can don't damage the concrete as bad. Whatever you do, do not hit your hand with this pressure washer. You can see right here, I got this scar. I was goofing around the other day and I hit it and I cut myself about a month ago. I tell you that it was not feeling good. I did pressure washing. I couldn't get this stuff off. I thought it was mold. Come to find out it's green paint. So go ahead and switch it over to the zero tip. Cap on the Ryobi electric pressure washer. Just do some light washing like I did here. It didn't take out these heavy rust stains though. And there's some really heavy, heavy mold stains that I need to get out right around here and here. Um, and investment wise though, it's still not a bad machine. You can need to do some light washing. You gotta do your car, wash your boat, you know, other things like that. 1600 PSI. Now this one was refurbished. The new one I think is about $140. Still not bad, it's lightweight, can be carried. Very simple, 1600 PSI, 1.2 gallons per minute. I'm using well water here and it works plenty and not good enough for that. Some basic instructions on the back. You hook your garden hose up, you hook up the hose on there, you get your wine ready, turn on your water, then power on the device. There's our model numbers.